Hello, this is Felix Kaiser again, and I'm going to be showing you one of my other decks, my uh, Psychic deck. And let me go ahead and just stop right now and give you a general view. So, um, pretty good balanced ratio of monsters, magics, and traps. Not too heavy on either or. So, let's start over here. We've got Psychic Emperor. I only run one of them because he's a uh, six cost, and he gives me 500 life points for each Psychic in my graveyard, which is definitely a good effect. And if you pair him with Sunny Pixie. Um, then you're ba able to pull off Ancient Sacred Wyvern, which gets a massive attack boost um, due to the fact that you summon Psychic Emperor and then you gain 500 for each. Then you do Sunny Pixie and you gain 1000 for Sync summoning it for Light Synchro. So yeah, definitely a really good combo. I actually might need to get another one for this deck. I might also replace this thing, Light Force Harmonizer, which has the ability to negate the dis um, the effect of an effect, a card effect that does damage to you. So you discard it, negates it, and destroys it, which is a pretty restricted effect, if you ask me. Um, I have two armored axon kickers just because they're six cut, um, just because they're six star monsters. And if you control psychic type monster, you can normal summon him without tribute, which is a really good if you're trying to sync up really quick. Let's see, you got. Uh, Sunny Pixies over here, just like I mentioned. One star tuners that have a really good effect for getting, gaining you life points when you sink for a light type monster. And also good for when you only have one Mind Master in this deck and you need to sink for Formula Synchron. Let's see here. Yep, got Mind Master here. Unfortunately, you can only run one at the time, but it's got a really good effect. So if you want to sink really quickly and you have them on your field, you can go ahead and tribute another Psychic and pay 800 Special Summon level 4 lower from your deck, which is really good if you also want to quick summon. For uh, Formula Synchron. Let's see, got two Panda Borgs here. I actually used to only have one in here until I recently just added another one because it's got a really good search effect. When it's destroyed battle, you can pay 100 life points, especially someone level 4 low from your deck. And then we can go over here. Got two Commanders just because they're three star tuners. And those are the only three star tuners amongst these psychics as I'm aware of. Um, I don't really care about their facts, I only use them for sinking, so. Um, then I got three Psychic Snails, which are pretty much a must-have for this deck, because they're 4-star 1900 attack points, and you can pay 100 to give any other Psychic you control um, double strike. So, yep, really good effect. Um, then we got two Jumpers over here, just because they're two Star Tuners, and their effects actually come really in handy if you want to screw your opponent over by paying 1000 life points to switch creatures um, with your opponent and then sinking with their creature. Um, then we got two Dr. Craniums, just because they're one-star non-tuner monsters, also good for syncing with uh, four Formula Synchron. And they don't have a bad effect, you can, when they destroy a battle, you can pay 800 to add one Psychic from your deck to your hand. So I guess if you want to go search for Norman Exxon Kicker or a Psychic Emperor, that's a good search engine. Uh, skip the synchros for now, move over to the monsters. So we got three Craybons here, which are a must-have for any Psychic deck, just because they're two star tuners and you can just pay 800 life points to negate an attack. So really good stall outs. Let's see, we got two Mind Masters, just because they're three star non-tuners. Um, good for quick syncing with two stars and uh, three stars. So. Uh, just good to have on the field, and they're a 3 star with 2200 defense, which is not bad. But the downside is when you have it on the field, you have to pay 500 life points um, each of your standby phases to keep it on the field. If you don't, it's destroyed. So, kind of uh, plus and minus with that one. Onto the spells and traps, got one Psychokinesis, just to pay 1000 to blow up a card. Some people would say this is a little, you know. Uh, redundant paying 1000 life which is to blow something up so but I really don't care it's a decent card blows up anything so I can't really argue with it um got a monster reborn here kind of standard issue for deck emergency teleport is a must have for psychic decks if you don't have one then your decks probably not going to function very well uh, emergency teleport is a quick play which allows you to special summon a level 3 or lower from your deck onto your field at the end phase it is removed from play but you really don't care about that because you're going to be using that to sync. So that's pretty much this. Might as well say, go ahead and special summon to sync. Ah. Now we got two brain research labs. I don't run three because you only need two. Um, brain research lab has a really good effect, of allowing you to basically double summon. <clears throat> at the expense of putting a brain counter on this card and then it also instead of paying life points to use the effect of a psychic you can put a counter on this the downside is is that you take damage when this card is removed from the field you take damage equal to the brain counters on it times 1000 so a lot of people are kind of scared of this but i have a counter for it and i'll show you in a little bit uh, we'll move on to miracle synchro fusions which i use to pull off ultimate axon kicker which is definitely 
a key card to any psychic deck just because he is a 10 star 2900 attack point piercing he cannot be destroyed by battle and he gives you life points equal to attack points of destroyed monster so he's got really good effects and Psy Station just one. Um, I took out the second one because it wasn't really needed. Psy Station is, I wouldn't use it for attack power, but I use it if you want to sink for something that you can't really obtain with a one star. So go ahead and boost that monster's uh, star count up by one and you won't have any problems. Uh, then we move on to uh, Draining Shield just for life point gain because this deck needs crazy life point gain. So then we got um, Psychic Overload, which is basically the only draw engine for the stack thus far until they come up with a new set that's supposed to. Anyways, basically just return three Psychics from your graveyard back to your deck and draw two. Definitely not a bad card. Um, then we got two Battle Teleportations, which is the win, pretty much a win condition for this deck. Um, most people wouldn't run these just because after it um, allows you to select one Psychic Control and then at the end of and it can attack your opponent directly. Then at the end of the turn, it goes to your opponent. So that's probably what turns most people off away from this card. So, But I use it as a win condition. So you get a double strike monster of like, you know, Hyper Psychic Blaster and it attacks your opponent directly for game. You, know, you don't have to worry about it going to your opponent. <laughs> so then we got Psychic Rejuvenations, which is another massive life point game. If you're swarming with Psychics and you activate two of these, you're pretty much set for the entire game. Um, then we got Psychic Tuning, just because it's like a Call of the Haunted, but it brings back a monster as a tuner. So you can bring back a tuner, and it still counts as a tuner, or you can bring back, like, Ultimate Axon Kicker as a 6-star tuner, which is definitely not bad. Um, Mirror Force, which is kind of another must-have in, in any deck. You can always run other stuff, but, you know, it's just a good staple. Got two barrel behind the doors. The reason I have these is to counter Brain Research Lab. So if you want, you can build that sucker up with a bunch of counters to lethal damage, and then you bump it with another card or MST it, and then you activate this. Then your opponent's dead. So, yep, it's kind of the other win condition for this deck. I've only pulled it off a couple of times, mostly because it's I'd have no way to search for these things. So if I get a gold sark for this, this would be what I'd be pulling all the time. Um, then we got Magic Cylinder just to change damage around. So, you know, kind of... Man, touch and go with that one. You don't really need to have it in your deck, but I just do. Alright, move on to Synchros. So we got Ancient Sacred Wyvern, which is what you use with Sunny Pixie and Psychic Emperor to get massive attack boost. With this deck, you'd think that would be a really bad addition, but thinking that with most of the cards that you run, I can actually get my life points way above 10,000. So, um, I got this sucker's attack points up to about 13,000 attack points. So, yeah, definitely a good card, but not really recommended if you have no life gain in this deck. Then we got Psychic Nightmare, just a 6 star synchro, and it's got a pretty decent effect. If you know, if you can keep guessing right with your opponent's cards in their hand, then you can basically have this thing sit around with 3,400 attack points. Mm, not bad. Then recently added Trishula to my deck if you've watched my unveiling of my Hidden Arsenal 4 packs. So yeah, I actually sat down and went through all these, so it's definitely not hard to pull it off with this deck, considering that I have every star imaginable and tuners up the wazoo, so yeah. We've got Stardust over here, kind of a mm, staple for any synchro deck. Uh, Thought Roller Arch Fiend, kind of accounts as Stardust, just because it's an star with 200 more attack points. Uh, then we've got Slight Hyper Psychic Blaster which is a pretty good synchro considering he's got piercing damage and the piercing damage that you do you gain as life points but I don't really care for it all too much just because it doesn't give you life points just for destroying a monster so mm, it's okay Formula Synchron for getting off shooting Star Dragon and another draw engine for this deck um, Ultimate Axon Kicker the 10 star indestructible I was talking about earlier really good card um, can't really see it, but that's my shooting star dragon, uh, ghost rare. So, yeah, I've won a lot of matches with this just because it's shooting star and it's a pain in the butt to get rid of. And another Axon kicker. Then we got magical android, which is good for starting off with and sitting around getting life points. And then we got life transfer, which is another good life point gainer. And, well, that's pretty much everything. That's my deck overview. And... Um, any comments or suggestions you'd like to make about some changes, I'd be glad to hear them. Well, that's all that I got for this deck, so let's see if I can post some of my other ones. Alright, this is Felix Kaiser, I'm signing off.